What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wanted to play a randomized game of Pokemon with your friends, but you just didn't know how to achieve it? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how to do it. In order to start the process of playing with your friends, you're going to need a few things. One, you're going to need a decent PC. These emulators take a lot in terms of processing power. So you're going to need a decent PC. Two, you're going to need your favorite game, whether that be Scarlet or Violet, Sword or Shield, or even Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I don't judge. And you're also going to need the Ryu Jinx application that is linked in the description below. I will pull up the link now and I'll show you how to get the application. So here's the link that'll be in the description right here. You'll click on this link. It's a Patreon link. So you will need to make a Patreon account, but it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Once you make your Patreon account, you will go to this page here. You'll scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll see four links, two for Linux, two for Windows. You can down either download either or. I have a Windows computer, so I will be downloading one of the Windows. Um, applications I already have it downloaded here um, so once you have it downloaded go ahead and open it I've got it open here so step number one after you've downloaded the application and open the application you're going to go to options manage user settings you will create a profile so you'll hit right here you'll hit add new profile you'll put in your name you'll press save profile name and then you'll hit close then you'll go back to options, go to settings this time, you'll go to multiplayer. For mode, you'll hit Ryujinx LDN. For network passphrase, I recommend doing a passphrase that both your uh, friend and um, you will remember. Um, and then in your network interface, just go ahead and hit Ethernet, then hit apply and save. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, once you open your Pokemon game, you can either go to Trade, Battle, or the Union Square. Um, when you hit uh, Trade, it'll automatically connect you to your friend. Um, all same with the Battle, it'll automatically connect you to your, uh, to your friend in the Battle, and the same with the Union. There is one complication that I've ran into, is that when you're playing on Scarlet and Violet, and you are using mods, it'll disconnect you after the first attack on either side. So if you're the first person to attack, it'll it'll show the attack and then it disconnects soon after that. I haven't been able to work out why that is. I'm currently working on it to this day to figure out why, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so that's pretty much the video, guys. It's pretty simple. Um, I would love to show you a video of it working. But unfortunately, Nintendo has been targeting uh, the channel recently, and I've been getting a lot of, uh, I wouldn't say copyright strikes, but uh, copyright notices uh, from them telling me basically I need to edit my video or or they'll take the monetization from it. Um, so I haven't been putting any clips. But if you need help or anything, or if you want to see it done, you can join the Discord in the link below. Um, there's a tutorial support channel. You can leave your question there or you can send me a DM. Either or. Um, I usually answer the DMs pretty quickly. Um, so yeah. That is the video. If you guys, or if it worked for you guys, go ahead and slap that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be doing more tutorials. And if you guys have an idea of a tutorial that you want to do or that you want to see done, Go ahead and shoot me uh, a message on Discord. I would gladly do that for you guys. But um, that's the end of this. And I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You guys have yourself a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.